Okay, so introduction to Field of Feelings with a slight um, emphasis on people who are feeling kind of fuzziness and different sort of locations within their body uh, that they're flipping in between. So Field of Feelings is, um, is a great uh, process for um, releasing the ego. And what we're going to be doing in Field of Feelings is doing the opposite of what the ego wants to do. So the ego likes to think and not feel. And so the core, you have to understand that when you're thinking, you're resisting feeling. And you're also, um, you're also just uh, allowing the domination of the addiction to thought. So. In Field of Feelings, what we're doing is we're encouraging the opposite, the opposite of what the ego wants to do, which is uh, we're, we're aiming at not thinking and feeling. So now, a very important point to understand is whenever, you're, whenever there is uh, attention or identification with thoughts, uh, then the sense of I starts the sense of an individuated or separated I. It's an illusion, but then it starts to exist. Like there's a me who's trying to do this properly. So if you, um, if you start to, so a thought emerges, a thought emerges, and then you just cut your identification, your attention to that thought. So it's like, am I, going to, am I doing this properly? If that thought starts, just catch it as quickly as possible and release your attention to that thought. And just be with whatever sensation or energy or feeling is present. Now, let's say you've got like feelings, like a, like a, let's say there's a there's a there's a, a density in the head, in the stomach, and in the feet, and there might be some fuzziness. Then what you'd be doing is, if you've got these several dominant sensations within the body, shall we say, and a fuzziness, you would. Um, let go of being in your thoughts and disidentify from many thoughts that are arising in consciousness. And you just sort of see what seems to be the most predominant feeling or sensation that there is in the body right now, shall we say. If it's, uh, if, if it's like in the head is the most dominant one, then just start with that and just fully allow it to come into consciousness and recognize that most people habitually are trying to repress their feelings mentally. So just by, being, by thinking, most people have got their mental breaks on making sure they don't feel anything. So take off any of your mental breaks or any kind of your mental repressing so that you can fully allow any sensations or energies or feelings to fully come up and fully welcome them. And as you're welcoming, welcoming these feelings, just let them be and you're just 100% allowing them to be here without trying to push them away. And, and as soon as your mind goes into thought, remember, detach from the thought and just be with the welcoming of the feelings. Now, some people will have the idea that I need to have some sense, some either conscious or unconscious sense of monitoring the process to make sure I'm doing it right. So just switch that off. There doesn't need to be anybody here. It's just feelings are just being allowed to be experienced and there is no I or there's no person there that's doing the feeling. Um, as, you, as you allow these feelings to be experienced, they'll start to dissipate. And as you let one, let's say the head, you're with the head, that will start to dissipate. Then you may be more aware of the stomach area. Then just allow yourself to be with the stomach area and just detach from any thoughts as they arise and just be with the energies. And it's not really a feeling, it's a sensation. It's not really a sensation, it's an energy. And as you're with these energies, they start to dissolve. And then you might become aware of a more subtle energy or, or a, a general fuzziness or whatever it is. So just be, as you let one thing dissolve and diffuse away, the next more subtle thing will come into consciousness and you can just let that uh, be experienced and then let, let that dissolve away. If you've got two equally dominant uh, sensations in different places, you can either allow just the experiencing of the one that might, might seem to be subtly more dominant than the other, or you can allow, it might seem more intuitive to allow yourself to experience the dissolving of both of these energies or sensations or locations in the body at the same time. 
So just being with that and detaching from thoughts, being with whatever it is. Like you might start up with, with uh, being with a heavy sensation in your forehead. And as you're with it and detaching from thoughts, that will dissolve away into nothing. And then you might become aware of something more subtle in your stomach. Then you be with that until it dissolves, dissolves away. Then you might become aware of a subtle sensation of your body. Then you just be with that, just be with it and detach from any thoughts as they arise. And just be with that until that dissolves away. And as you do this, you'll get to more and more subtle, subtle awarenesses. And you just allow yourself to be with the subtle, subtle awarenesses. And as you allow yourself to be with subtle awarenesses and not allow yourself to go into thought or detach from thoughts, then even those subtle awarenesses will dissolve until eventually uh, the process is finished when you're in a state of formlessness and there is no sort of dualistic or this or that positionality and there's no sense of identification with any sense of form, any sense of a, a body location, any sense of anything being there. When it's dissolved into oneness, then uh, that's, the, that's, that's it, and you just remain in the presence, or the, the formless uh, presence. So what we'll do now is we'll uh, have a go on that for about five to ten minutes in silence, and just see if we can just let everything dissolve away.